PAC has been working for more than 10 years to create a network of great public schools like ACE so all of our children can meet their potential. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Christine Ngo. I was born in Vietnam and lived there until the war came. Because our family home was right on the coast, people would always ask my father to store their food and supplies for them before they would try to escape by boat. In exchange for us storing his food and supplies, one man told my father that our family could have one spot on his boat. My parents chose me. The second notice, because I had, I had bad health and they thought I would do better in America and because they thought I was smart and that I would make it. That was in the 80s. I had to leave on a boat all by myself, just 12 years old. I didn't know anybody else on the boat. Hundreds of us crammed in with the communist soldiers chasing us at first. I got so sick. Some people talk about throw me, throwing me overboard. There was enough water even to cook the rice. By the third day, people thought I was going to die. And I think I only survived because a nine man stole me a cup of water. We saw a big boat that, and made our way to it, but it turned out to be the Thai pirate ship. They stole all of our valuables, but they saved us because they gave us rice and water. We reached Malaysia, but they wouldn't let us stay because the refugee camps were full. After 21 days, nearly starved, we were finally rescued on a little island by the Norwegian oil ship. They offered to take us to Norway or to the refugee camp, and we chose the refugee camp because we wanted to come to America, the land of freedom. I lived in the refugee camp in Indonesia for a year with no shoes and just one pair of clothes and so little to eat. I finally had the opportunity to get to San Francisco. I w it was very difficult for the first few years living with relatives I didn't know. Once I graduated from high school, I moved here to go to San Jose State. I share my story with you because it's a big part of why I'm now a PAC leader. I will do anything to make sure that Kaylin, my beautiful daughter, never had to experience any of what I went through. Kaylin is seven years old now, in the second grade at Rocket Ship. It has been the best school for us. They put the needs of the children first, they listen to the parents, the teachers are so dedicated and passionate about what they do. She's already doing fourth grade math in second grade. She's learning so fast. For the past couple of years, I've been involved with PACT. I can now say that I am a leader. Just two weeks ago, I co-chaired a big public meeting with Mayor Reed and County Superintendent De La Torre about the need to create more great school. I never imagined that I'd be doing this, that I'd be speaking in English in front of hundreds of people involved in politics and community issues. I thought all of that was above me. I've learned that I do have a say, that I don't have to accept what people tell me to do, that if we work hard together, we can get what we need. Women couldn't be leaders where I come from, but here we can. I'm helping Rocket Ship do recruiting, and I do training for other parents. I'm proud of my little accomplishments. So much comes back to my love for my daughter. I look at other kids now and I see Kaylin. Like they are my own children, I, peer, I feel their pain. I want her to be able to follow her dreams. I want her to know that she can do it. I will be there to support her and I want her to know that other people are there to support her too. I didn't really have that, but, I, but now she does. Thank you.